Hello, this is a very quick video to let you know about a free and I believe very handy utility plugin for Beaver Builder called BB Toolbox. And what this plugin does, and there's a hint on this image, is it allows us to, from the front end using Beaver Builder, to be able to change our postal page titles, our postal page permalinks, and also to change our page attributes. The thing I particularly like about this plugin, and you can see here it's got an SEO settings tab, is that assuming you've got an SEO plugin installed, you can add from the front end your meta titles and meta descriptions. Now in some ways this video is an update on one I made a couple of years ago because this plugin is a fork of a plugin which is still available on GitHub by Terry Pigot. I don't know if I said the name right again, uh, called Beaver Builder Toolbox. And we were using this for about a year. My colleague was doing all of the SEO on client sites, using this from the front end, really liked it. But when version 2.0 came out of Beaver Builder, this stopped working. And I know I reached out to him, but Terry didn't have the time to update this. So I'm really pleased to see that Jack Creeland, I hope I said that right, has updated to this and he's been really kind he's actually added some extra support to it so let me quickly cover the thing that I like about it and that's the SEO so as you can see here it supports these SEO plugins so WordPress SEO also known as Yoast all in one SEO headspace to platinum SEO which I don't know the SEO framework and the one that I asked to be added is SEO press which is the one I've been changing to throughout the year and I know a lot of other people in the Beaver Builder community have adopted this one and also Genesis so let me before I move on from this page and show you it let me just do a quick shout out please if you do test this out please leave a rating I'm the only one who's given this a review at the moment and I'm sure this it encourages people to carry on with these plugins. I noticed there's quite a few plugins which I've entirely missed on the repository for Beaver Builder. It takes somebody's time. So, uh, yeah, I really urge us all to go and try and encourage people who are doing this kind of work for us. Okay, let me go over and show you this in action. There's not much to show you. So, I'm in a test site of mine. I've got SEO Press in this case. And if I go over to my home page on this test site, you can see I've got my SEO title here and meta description in here. If I go and open this tab, which is the same page in the page builder, we can see the plugin has added that toolbar over here. And let's just go to the SEO setting first. So you can see that this carries over. So anything I change on the front end here will automatically, once it's saved and updated, will change in the back end here and vice versa. So we don't need to worry about this kind of plugin. It is truly a utility plugin. It's only changing settings that already exist in our plugins and within WordPress. So if it's no longer supported in the future or we just want to remove it, it's not going to change anything. So it's just a handy tool to have. Just something to mention on this, it's already set now. I know Jack's going to change this. It says 30 here, but it's actually 60 characters here and you can't type beyond that, which if you're going to hand this over to a client might be handy to stop them putting too much in there. And it's uh, 160 characters over here. And again, we'll just stop when you reach those number of characters. Let's go over to the default tab and I'm using the Beaver Builder theme here so we can select any of the templates that are available in that theme from the front here. We can set our parent and child relationship here and as mentioned we can change the title of that page, the permalinks and the new feature that's just been added is that we can just select in a featured image also from the front end, which might be useful on some pages and probably not so much on traditional posts, but if you were doing any of your posts using the page builder itself, I can see that can be very handy. Okay, I think I've covered everything here. If you did like this video, then as always, please then give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks so much for your time. I hope you have a great day and hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.